all my treasure seekers and fortune finders. Are you ready to begin? Today, for your viewing pleasure, we have the Marvel Beginnings series, Volume 2, Series 1, which will run through three series of these cards. But today, we've got Series 1 for your opening pleasure. This is a really fun set, a really cool set. There's three guaranteed supernovas. I believe it is three. And what we're looking for out of these is autographs and first draft sketch cards. Now, I, I don't see none of that coming out of here. Uh, unfortunately, I've watched quite a bit of these open. And, and the best I've seen out of the blaster box is the full boards. I don't look to get one of those out of three of these. Unfortunately, the blaster boxes are kindly light compared to the hobby box. If you want to open these and can afford it, guys, I'm going to just say it. I recommend the hobby box 100%. I've seen a few of the base color parallels, some of the supernovas, maybe one, one numbered card per box, and I've seen one full board come out of it now right here is a little of what you can expect i've seen the reds rainbow fools i've seen blues i've not seen any blacks so and i've seen some of the flip fx none of the purples none of the high numbers uh, I've never seen any of the Creator Gallery signatures. That's one in every 1,200 packs. And that is an entire production run. So, really, unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen today. But we do get some really beautiful red supernovas in these. This is kindly some of what you can hit in these. The purples, the blacks... You got Weapon Lures, you've got the Red Supernovas. It's an absolutely beautiful set and a fun set, guys. Now, these cards are not as nice as what the Flare Ultras are, but they are still a beautiful card, a really nice mix of characters in these. So, this should be really, really fun, guys. And remember, we will open any and everything. So, when we come back, we're going to get into some Marvel beginnings. I hope you have fun. I'm looking forward to this set. I hope you are too. All right, guys, before we start this opening, I want to address an elephant in the room. If you're looking for a return on investment in this, it uh, might not be the product for you. If you're looking to enjoy a nice, fun opening, you love the art and you love the series, this is a good product. I already know this is a money loss, as is 99.9% .9 of all card openings. But I'm one of the dorks that used to get comic books just for the art. I swear, I didn't hardly read any, so there's going to be a lot here I don't know. Now, I watched a lot of the animated shows, but there's a lot I didn't know, and I don't know about the storylines. I used to have a massive collection, and I was one just for the art. So, I want to get that out of the way. I'm not as knowledgeable with a lot of the storylines. I do know some of them, but I was more of an art fan. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. It's okay, though. I know there's more out there just like me. You may not admit it, but you're out there lurking in the dark, hiding in the shadows. Okay. Oh, ah. Uh. Guys, if the microphone messed up, I apologize. Uh, it's not the best setup, but I'm working with what I got to work with right now. So, unfortunately, unless if somebody wants to sponsor me. So, here we go, guys. Nine packs? I thought it was eight. I could have swore it was eight packs, six cards per pack. Five cards per pack, nine packs per box. Okay. Well, you know what? It equals out the same. A lot of cards to go through. Looking for those signatures. Here we go. 
first pack of Marvel Beginnings. These feel thin. After opening a lot of the sports cards, especially if you open score, after you open score, the next 20 packs you touch just feel like there's nothing in it at all. All right, here we go. Baron Blood, Cyclops, see what I'm saying? Absolutely beautiful artwork on this. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll be dab blame. Look at that. Already? An illustration board, guys. Griffin, check that out. That is awesome. I really like the red skull, but we'll definitely take a Griffin. Already. Already. Havoc and U.S. Agent. Captain America. But no, that is cool. I watched quite a few of these opening and I only seen one of the illustration full boards. Uh, illustration boards. One in every 26 packs. So that is definitely cool. I guess you got the lucky one. I guess I did, dude. But that is awesome. And then next pack you pull in, um, what is it? I think it's the uh, autograph. There we go, guys. And from what I've seen, these are close to three to five bucks. So happy, happy, happy. Couldn't I ask for better? I would have loved the Red Skull. That Red Skull illustration board, guys, is just absolutely the fire. I saw it last night and I was like, oh, I gotta have that. Ah! I keep hitting my tripod and I know I'm messing the sound up, guys, and I apologize. I apologize so much. Modoc, there's the kingpin. And we have a Deep Lore Weapon Plus program loot cage. The deep lures are pretty common. An amazing Emma Frost here. And a beginnings cannonball. Like I said, these are just they're they're beautiful, beautiful artwork. I would love to get a hobby box of these. It's hard for me to justify dropping 170 bucks right now <coughs> especially when these are running 1999 so we got about 20 or 62 dollars here thundra there's that red skull that was the one i was looking for in the illustration board but that's an awesome card the illustration red skull is just awesome here we go Cosmic Alpha God Bomb. There we go. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Really cool Ghost Rider. And Sentry. So, so far, not bad at all. Still not seen one of our red supernovas yet. I think there's guaranteed three per box. Gypsy Moth. Shocker. Yeah, you wouldn't know. It's... Okay, I'm not going there. This is a really cool Weapon Plus. Weapon 11. That is a really... I like that one, so I'm glad to pull it. I'll put that in my PC. Warpath. And Hero Kala. Wait, Dad, look. It has the own light. It has the original, like, drawing of it right there on the corner. Oh, here we go with Thanos. I was Thanos. just singing, I was singing a song about Thanos earlier. I'm not going to put y'all through that, though. Mm -mm. Man Thing. Oh, and a black base parallel. Another really nice... Beta Ray Bill. This should be numbered. Nope. Black is not numbered, huh? 
but black base parallel beta ray bill rio morales and right that's a nice looking right too so far i'm just thrilled with these gonna go ahead and sleeve this up but look how that black border pops with the gold that is just too cool like I said this is just it's a fun opening there is chances to hit big I, I, I wouldn't exactly bet on it but here we go with Mystique Jean Grey my absolute favorite favorite x-man Jean gray has always been my favorite even after dark phoenix oh and check it out so nice we had to hit her twice we do hit the red supernova Jean gray that is awesome i love that my favorite x-man annihilation and dread knight it's a cool dread knight <laughs> I can't believe that. Did I just talk that one up? I think I did. I think I talked that one up. That is so cool. Illustration board. Black base. Jean Grey Supernova. You know the only other thing that can make this better? Is one of the autos. I mean, if we're going, let's go all the way. An auto would do it. And we do a top turn with upper deck. Graviton. Graviton. Whoa. Avengers Team Formations Beginnings. That's another of the really cool ones. That is awesome. Speedball. And Callisto. All right, guys, two more packs out of this box. And this will be a little longer opening because I got to sit here and ooh and ah and drool over these, but I can't help it. This is just it. And it looks like we have another red supernova. Odin, 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 a point in time. Janet Van Dyne shrank to the size of an insect. That is cool. Wasp. That is so awesome. And another red supernova. Protus. Finish off with Slingshot. And Cassandra Romulus. That is a cool one too. That is definitely nice. Second red supernova, I believe. Huh. I believe if I'm not mistaken, you get three supernovas per box. Or that could be where we got the black base. Either way, I'm fine with it. This was a really good box in my opinion. Nope, we do get three supernovas. Here we go, final supernova. Davin, Man Bull, another point in time. Dr. Bruce Banner was hit with da dangerous gamma radiation and became Hulk. You, would, you don't want... Uh, yeah, I'm stumbling. Hey. And it's Duke. Dupe the dangerous poop. Okay, we was making jokes last night. Mm -hmm. But dupe is a cool one. Mm -hmm. You don't want to see me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Mm -mm. <laughs> dupe. Seriously. The only other one I could have got that would have been any better would have been bats. That brings out another emotion. But here we go, box number two. Can it top box one? 
I'm telling you, that illustration board, the only way that could have got better, guys, is if it was a, wow, these are all on one side, is if the illustration board would have been the Red Skull or the Living Planet. Either one would have been really, really neat. Here we go, pack number one, and we start off with the red supernova. Thor, oh, another god planet, or god bomb. And Hope Summers on the red supernova. Ooh, Danny Ketch. That is awesome. Hmm. I guess it's better, I don't know. I kind of like the Cosmic Ghost Rider better. But here we go, Hope Summers on the Red Supernova. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I can't believe I got duped. Now we gotta get a Bats. We got dupe. We need dupe and bats. I don't know that they make a red supernova bats. I'm sure they do. Then we need Doctor Strange. It's sad what happened We have an Enchantress. An Arcade. Another. Hmm. Victoria Hand and a Kingmaker. Not the best pack air, huh? This box don't seem as willing to give up the good cards as what the last box did. Now these all came from one place, different areas, but all out of the same stock, so the Watcher, Chameleon, Oh, and we have a red base cardinal, non-numbered, but the red base, oop, is that chipping? And some slight chipping on the corner. Penny Parker and Nebula. I hate that chipping on the red. But I mean, these parallels with the gold just absolutely pop. The black is my favorite. The black against the gold. The red against the gold is nice, but not as nice as that black is. Let's set our red supernovas here so we can get our... I mean, that black and gold, that really sets that card off. Not complaining about the red, though. And I believe there's also blue. <clears throat> I've yet to see a blue, at least out of these. I have seen a black. Or no, black was the one I hadn't seen. I've seen a few blues. One of the two. Professor X, that's a nice one. Nightshade. Molten Man on the red supernova. Pyro and Ashley Barton. Give me something good. We have a Gorgon. Colin Wing. A point in time wasp again. Blink and Carnage. I hate that we're getting a lot of uh, repeats in a set this large. I really hate that we're getting a lot of Ulick. Ah, here we go. A new Deep Lore and Sabretooth. That's a good one. Sabretooth on the Red Supernova, Obadiah, and Quake. 
that's a really good one on the Supernova. Sabretooth, that's, in my opinion, the best Supernova yet. Still searching for an auto, but then again, so is a lot of other people. Here we go. We have got the base Griffin to match the illustration board. Mr. Fantastic. Ooh, there's a different Cosmic Alpha Crimson Gem. Where did we go? Right there. We had Tatina and Captain Marvel. I had to do a double take for a second. All right. Nothing good like the full board. Can you break out an auto? That is going to be one in every 2,600 packs. That is almost impossible. Mary Jane Watson. Blaster. Blastar. Look at that. Another. I hate that. I mean, that's my Cosmic Spider-Man. I do like the Cosmic Spider-Man. That is my one big gripe right now. I shouldn't be getting duplicates, at least not this early. That was, that's, eh. It looks like there would be a better mix. Silver Samurai Blade, another full board. Check it out. Another illustration. Mystique. Oh, mama. Yay! Got a Mystique, a Komodo, and a Lady Deathstrike. That is just too cool. Now, guys, I promise I watched a lot of these opened earlier, and there was only one illustration board, and it was a red skull, and I was drooling over it. So here we are, two boxes, two illustration boards. Can we pick up a third? I mean, or an auto? Now the chances are really rare. You're looking at an illustration board about one every three boxes if you're looking at 26 packs. I did choose these from beeping thing different areas within they had about a case of these i chose one from the front one from the middle and one from the back i generally always do that to try to keep from getting a lot of the same duplicates didn't work there but i've been really happy with the pull so far except for the duplicates I might see later on down the line if somebody wants to trade. I don't know. Or end up giving them away. Here we go. Best red supernova we've got yet is a saber tooth, barren blood, cyclops, a point in time tragedy strut, and a feral. That is awesome. I love the story. Storm. But it would be nice to have a Wolverine. Feral on the Red Supernova. Speedball. Or a Dark Phoenix. A Dark Phoenix point in time. That would be even better. All right. I'm nerding out over here. Here we go. And yet again, there'll be three series in these, so we'll get many, many more. Man Bull. Oh. A deep lore I haven't seen. Ted Solace entered a swamp and emerged as the Man Thing. 
That's cool. Callisto and Slingshot. So far, this has been just fun, fun. This shouldn't happen. What happened? What was that? This shouldn't happen, guys. Kingpin. Peter Potts. We just got the illustration board, Peter Potts. I like you. Oh, and there's bats. Bats. Guys, three boxes, three illustration boards. What should be happening? I watched two to three cases of this broke earlier and only saw very few of these. I mean, one every five to six boxes. Very few of these. And here, one of my favorite cards in this product that can come out of the... And I hit three of them. The Peter Potts is just awesome. The Mystique is even better. Griffin, eh. But it was the illustration board, and I expected that to be the only one I got, so... I'm happy. A plus, A plus, A plus. I don't even care anymore. Here we go. We have a rainbow Justin Hammer. Of course, we didn't get a flipped FX, but we did get a rainbow. Stingray and Jubilee. That is, that is just awesome. I guess I picked the right three, huh? Gypsy Moth. Here we have Shocker in a blue base. Pepper Pots. Guys, come on. We hit the Pepper Pots on the illustration, the Pepper Pots on the blue. Jack o' Lantern. I mean, we hit a black, a red, and a blue. We hit three illustration boards, a rainbow. You know, the only thing right now that would come close would be a flipped FX. I don't expect to hit that. We've done hit our hits in this other than our red supernovas, but we run the gambit on these guys. We absolutely run the gambit. What have we not seen? A flipped FX. We've not seen an auto, which we're not going to. But I mean, wow. Such a good mix. Summoner. That's a cool one. Man Thing. Summoner on the Red Supernova. Profile in the Maker. Wow. What an awesome opening. I, I couldn't ask for better out of retail. I'm just thrilled. Mystique. Jean Grey. We have the Cosmic Alpha Infinity Gauntlet. Another really, 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 really good one. I like that one. Like I said, I was talking earlier about that. Echo and Spot. Have a little spot. spot? He should flag off himself. There we go. He should flag off himself. Would it be inappropriate to ask my wife if she's spotting? Here we go, Frankie Ray. Oh, see, now that's a really cool red supernova. Frankie Ray, Dazzler, and Rogue. Rogue with the donuts. Oh, and another deep lore. Ultimaton developed inside the world. That was a cool one. Ultimaton developed inside the world, boy. Proteus. Where's Rogue? Final pack. Uh, I done put Rogue. Rogue was base, so Rogue's in the base. I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, like Final pack, such an amazing opening. Having such fun. Graviton, Auden. Oh, see, now we get something different. Team Formations, Wrecking Crew. Husk 
and Johnny Watts. Guys, what a fun, 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 fun product. I didn't expect this. We got a blue, a black, a red, a rainbow, three illustration boards. I couldn't have asked for no better. I could, but I wouldn't have got it. I really hope you've enjoyed this. This was just beyond belief, guys. So please give this video a thumbs up. Share it. Leave me a comment if you've opened this or if you plan to open it. What you thought about these three boxes. To me, this was definitely not conducive of a lot of what the other boxes I've seen open was. So don't expect if you open these to hit just like that. Generally, you will get a colored base, a parallel base. You'll either get a rainbow or a flipped FX. I didn't see many of these. All this is pretty normal, except for the three illustration boards. And to get a red, a black, and a blue, awesome, awesome, awesome. So guys, that's my opening. I hope you've enjoyed it. I sure had fun. Until the next adventure, may your pants be full, your smiles be golden, and your clouds be silver lined.